John, what's up, buddy? What's going on? Today's a big day because we got this song from you and Luke Bryan called Cowboys and Plowboys. Who's who? Uh, well, you know. Uh, <laughs> Are you the Luke's, cowboy? Luke's the cowboy and all of it. No. You can wear the cowboy hat. Yeah, I mean, the, the point of the song is we're both kind of the same. It's just cowboys God, and farmers. Yeah. and it's, it's a fun, fun kind of uh, just an anthem kind of style yeah no i know just batman and robin cowboys and plowboys luke yeah, and batman and robin that's right <laughs> luke and john you know yeah. what i mean so uh, now do artists ever record songs at the same time together like going in the studio together he was there when we did the tracking vocals uh, not not vocals uh where we tracked the song he yeah. came in we did he sang his scratch vocals oh you were there with him when he did it yeah he came in but when the vocals when you get like different studios for vocals it makes it easier for everybody's schedule if they just do it the vocals without uh t well you didn't do vocals together basically the final vocals well i remember on john's other duet that was massively famous called you can't say that in a country song with us the raging idiots we did it together because we respected the process that's what we do I, yeah hey we did it together that's right i like doing i i amen. sing i sing with ronnie dunn when we did the amen he ronnie old school guy he, gets on american idol all of a sudden luke can't <laughs> sing with people you know what i mean <laughs> i can't i mean luke is very busy and it's hard to get a schedule i'm just kidding i'm giving luke a hard thing. time because i can because i only can i know we, we, we love luke but he's busy this is it's a really good song so we're gonna play this here it's the world premiere it is Cowboys and Plowboys. John Party is here. So let's play this, and we will come back right after this. Bobby Bone Show. I'll just hit the same one. Yes, sir. Right. You can hit it again. Go. On the Bobby Bone Show now. John Party. Good song, man. How long have you had that song recorded, and how long have you known that was going to be the lead single? We had that recorded for uh, Mr. Saturday Night. Mm -hmm. and <gasps> Really? Yeah. We had, and it just, we just, it just didn't work out schedule wise and we thought we were gonna do a deluxe thing but since the whole you know 300 song albums are coming out we wanted to just maybe push it and build up i don't want to do like a 37 track album but i would like to do a 20 song album i feel like that's a good playlist i feel like it's a good length a little longer than 14 so we're like we'll push it to the next record so that's what happened well wow, so you had that that has to hurt a little bit to have a song you really love and you can't even put it you can't put it on right now. Yeah, it was tough because the, the songwriters were asking and and Luke was wondering. And but it worked out for Luke. Okay, I know duets are very popular, but Luke had uh, by dirt and like so there was it worked out to where it didn't get in the way of other mm -hmm. duets that me or Luke had. I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome that it came out now. But I just know if I had something amazing and I wanted to put it out, I would just be like, I, I can't put it out now. And can't, what if I what if I die? Are but you then, what? Are are you? Can you not hide gifts well? No, I need to give it away immediately. I mean, I'm, I'm saying, hey, yeah. I, you want you want a gift early? Yeah, I'm that guy. I know, me too. <laughs> so and then I have to feel like I have to get another one because it doesn't count. I, you know, you want one on the day and mm -hmm. the day before. Yeah, I'm, I've I, got I feel one. You on that. Got one for my wife right now that I for Christmas already that I want to give her today. It's just like Halloween present because I would want to be like, I want to see you happy right now. And but then I'm like, <laughs> now I'm not happy because I got to get another gift for Christmas. Yeah. So, oh man, I forgot about that. Sorry, I didn't want to bring it up. And now I he's going to keep it. Now, I, yeah, I, I know. I now know. she's getting a, a, a Halloween present. Yes. <laughs> yeah. How's, uh, how's everything at home? Everything's great. Baby's growing. Uh, Summer's super mom. She looks great. Summer, like, been hitting in the gym, really. She looks amazing. Presley's amazing. Everything's good. Has uh, tour. Guys are doing great. Everybody's healthy. Have you seen a different side of Summer? Obviously, you have, but one that you didn't quite expect now that she's, like, the mom and she's, like, taking... A lot of responsibility there. There's a little bit of psycho mom. Oh, it's that part of it. Oh, okay. like, I went with responsibility. Oh, very, strict. Went with very strict. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, got it. Now I turn into the kid like, okay, mom. You so know, she's strict like, to you too. Yeah, yeah. And I know. I was like, she put put gave me rules. So <laughs> <laughs> you know, I haven't been drinking as much and uh, being more more for, yeah. Uh, yeah. there. So it's been, uh, you know. <laughs> Gotta gotta be a pro dad because she's a pro mom. You so. need a different name. You do. I don't mind it. I it's know, entertaining for me. <laughs> that's that's Psycho. that. <laughs> that's the <laughs> immature. Like I'm mad because she's telling me not to do something. Mm. Right. You know. Mm. But no, she's a great mom. Yeah. Your voice is so good, dude. Yeah. I don't know if it's getting better, like wine, or maybe my ears are just getting better. But it's like you're getting to be a better singer. Well, thank you. Um, I I've been uh, really good at diet 
and I have I've gotten a lot better. Do you feel that you've because you've always been really really great and you've always always been really aggressive too, like scary. You mm-hmm. start singing, like, yeah, I, I know, I get loud. That's <laughs> okay, scary. But I mean, do you feel like you're a better vocalist now? I'm working on it. Uh, I'm being uh, more serious with health. I was battling a, an infection for a long time, and I really had to learn the stuff. And it finally went like away. a UTI. No, oh, it close. <laughs> okay. I mean, I, it was a prostate infection. It was a weird deal. Really? Oh, so really? Wow. Yeah, and it's, it oh. gets scary. You're like, yeah. prostate. And the doctor checks. Mm. Old school doctor check. Not fun. They, they teach you to be like, you need to straighten up, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Had to How have that pretty pay? recently, like, too. What was, what was the symptom of that? Or... <laughs> Do we really want to get into it? Okay, no. <laughs> I just thought, I no, I didn't know that that was a thing. So, what? Prostate infection. I think anything can be infected. Sure. I, just, I have nipples. Infection. Can you milk me, Amy? <laughs> <laughs> I, so, it was like 12 weeks antibiotics. Really? Wow. Yeah, it was, it was How rough. did you know you were sick? Right. It was hot. Do you really want to know? Oh, <laughs> it, was, it was like I was peeing like I was 90 years old. Yeah. Well, like, what's that like? I don't know. Well, when you try to go to the mm-hmm. bathroom, it's hard to go. Okay. And it was weird. It was out of nowhere. And I was like, and you could get, there's like 600 like bacteria that could do it. And they're all like st- from weird stuff. I don't know. The that you road were, life is a were... weird life. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what? It just I'm sounds worse and worse. It's just making it sound Wait, like what? I was about to go. I've had similar things. I had to go to the doctor and get the whole thing. Hold and then on. he's like, sometimes you're lonely and there's a raccoon nearby. And you're like, wait, man, wait, no, no, no. Lunchbox is already looking it up. He's already looking at videos. We're just happy you're healthy. All I was saying was your voice sounds really good. The road could be tough. I know. The pre-diabetes, was. I was pre-diabetic. I had an infection. It was like literally like I was falling apart. So I needed to make a change. And all that were like, that's awesome. But then you made it sound weird with like, sometimes you do stuff on the road you regret. And we're like, no. I would just say traveling, you can get, you know what? I agree with you. We'll just leave it up. We're on the same side. You keep walking yourself into it. I'm going to eat popcorn and watch the comments. Yeah, on this exactly. One. <laughs> okay. Here's the deal. Let me say this. We're going to come back with John. Uh, John Party's here, but also the Mr. Saturday Night World Tour is happening. And you know you're killing it whenever you have two different legs, and one of them is the North America leg. I mean, that's really great. You're going over. You're doing all the Europe stuff. You know, you Germany. That's, we had, that's we super had to cool. postpone Europe because of the, the stuff. Mm-hmm. The, the right, yeah. <laughs> is that what you, you say? Know, you now that the cat's out of the bag. <laughs> yeah. um, but we're going back in April. So yes. it's still, we're still going to be the world tour. Oh, you've had to postpone that whole... I saw you t- uh, post that. Yeah. That's what it was. Well, I just said that. Yeah. yeah. You know, but yeah, what? If Save it for if, Bobby Bones. We, if, got the, we got the grease got the here, exclusive. man. We got the grease. If, okay, so you're still going to do all those dates, though. That's, yes. That's breaking news. Yes, it was postponed, not canceled. Breaking news. Okay. I ain't, I ain't back... I've been wanting to go to UK for a long time. The fans over there have been great, and they want me to come. I'm co- I'm going over I'm going to video myself getting on that plane and post it so there's facts that I'm coming. Okay. Okay, we believe you, though. We do believe you. There's no need to <laughs> we post didn't, it. We, we, yeah, we just got sure. real serious. Yeah, yeah, no, we they believe you. Tickets. Anyway, let me say this, <laughs> though. The North, North American leg still happening, though, right? We're still, oh, yeah. Okay. We're still, we got, I don't know, dude. Just go to John's page. Now I'm all confused. There's, I don't know. Who and there's a lot going on. Yes. We're going to come back because I want to hear Christmas. You're doing a Christmas. Like, I'm not wrong about that, though, right? Yeah, we got Chris's album still coming doing out. it, though. Oh, yeah, Chris's okay. show at the Beacons going. Making sure. I'm coming back. We'll talk about it. Yeah. You never know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying now. not to get any more infections. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hold on. Me, too. We all are every day. I, they're everywhere. They're you everywhere watch all out, the time. Man. You, you never know what out. happens on the road. <laughs> we world premiered Cowboys and Plowboys earlier with John Party. He's here. He played his latest number one, Your Heart or Mine. And then I, I saw where you're putting out a Christmas record, which I think is super cool. Because of exactly who you are, I feel like there hasn't been a real like country, but still progressive country fiddle Christmas record in a long time. Why did you feel the need to do a Christmas record now? Well, I would, you know, I love who doesn't love Christmas. I know I love Christmas, and my wife loves Christmas. Summer is like she November first, Christmas time, mm. and we sit around and you know we just got that feeling of not having a Christmas record when everybody's playing Christmas songs was kind of really weighing me down and uh we kind of had an opportunity to kind of do some more there's always opportunity to do more things with the christmas record these days like a little maybe a christmas show or just down the road so we were like yeah we're gonna we're gonna do it and we recorded it uh it was me and the band we we did it ourselves a lot of love like it was it was our first record we really recorded together and we pre we pre-production so we got together and jammed the song so it's 
it's very this record's I would say mad out a lot of love and um we did some cool stuff. We did a honky tonk version of uh, All I Want for Christmas is You, the Mariah Carey version. Yeah, I was going to ask how many of these are originals and how many of these are songs that you covered. There's four originals and we did two standards. We did Winter Wonderland but kind of in the Ray Charles version where it's kind of real jazzy. Um and we did uh Let It Snow, like kind of Dean yeah. now. Just to have just to have some some standards and I uh, like a lot of Chris Rigger had, uh, if we make it through December by Mark Haggard, but I wanted to be a little more of like how I grew up, and I feel like everybody goes through some stuff, you know, some some hard times sometimes in December, and so I recorded uh, Counting Crows Long December. It's the last song on the Chris's record, and it's it's really like a cool piece just to have on a record. Is that out? That part's not out. Will you send me that? Will you text me that? I will. I'll, I'll, I'll send want to hear that. That's like, I'm excited. the biggest County Crows fan in the whole world, and I also am a mild fan of John Party, so I'd be curious to hear. <laughs> hey, maybe I, maybe I could turn to mild plus. <laughs> yeah, text that to me after this. Hey, that's awesome. I didn't know that part of it. Yeah, no, I wanted it. I wanted something that wasn't really Christmassy, but it talks about December because I've been, you know, I've been in hospitals in December. You know, I smell hospitals in winter. You know, it's just so many great lines. And I wanted to really kind of get out there. And we did a reggae song. It's really cool. Um, it's a very, I'm going to say it's, it's a very good Christmas record because we put our heart and soul into it. And well. we chose songs that weren't normal. What's this song, Beer for Santa? Well, that one's kind of self-explanatory. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's really, it's really ground moving, <laughs> really reaching out there. What's this beer for Santa song? Like, you, are you leaving him one? Are you saying only have one because you got to get back in the sled? Like, no, oh, beer for Santa is just a fun kind of, kind of real kind of, I don't know, it's got a swing to it, a shuffle. And it just reminds me of something that, you know, it's just fun. Like, instead of Christmas cookies, he's mm. leaving, he's leaving out a six pack. Got oh, it. Six, yeah. but, but take it okay. easy, Santa. You got a lot of work to do. Take it with you. <laughs> well, but how many songs are? Do you have any songs from it out now? The Christmas record. I know the whole thing comes the whole out on the twenty seventh. Out pretty soon. The twenty seventh. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but we're yeah, not but, doing the whole. We're gonna put a speckle out here. Okay, no speckles speckle here. No speckles and speckles. Boom. All of it. The whole Christmas. God dang it! The whole thing. The whole thing, man. <laughs> October twenty seventh, so. the Christmas so. record comes out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell UMG, hey man, I, I told him the whole thing. He said no speckles. <laughs> no sprinkles, man. You're doing that show at the beacon in New York City, which is really cool. That's like the best time to be up there too. Christmas, December sixteenth. Like, are you gonna wear you, you, bands wearing Santa suits or what? It's gotta be Christmas themed, right? Oh yeah. Well we'll uh I got a Christmas jacket already made. It sparkles. <laughs> Uh, we'll have a 15-piece band. Oh, come on. Um, cool. It's going to be big production. I mean, we got two keyboards coming in before just to have the the Leslie, you know, the, and a you know, honky-tonk piano. And it'll be a big production. Mm -hmm. uh, it's basically our Christmas, it's our Christmas party, but we're having it in NYC. It's one show, our only Christmas show. And when we think of, when I think Christmas, for like a family to come or just everybody to come and party, NYC is very Christmassy, mm -hmm. and it it if nobody's experienced, I think it'll be a cool, and the Beacon's amazing. So we're gonna come back. We'll do one more segment with John Party. Uh, the new single Cowboys and Plowboys out today with Luke Bryan. Uh, the Christmas album comes out October 27th. He's playing the Beacon in December. The Mister Saturday Night Tour, obviously, he just told us he's gonna go. Back to Europe in April because the infection says bye. <laughs> All right, we're coming back with John Party in just a second. Just so everybody knows, John's here. We premiered Cowboys and Plowboys, which we'll play again at the top of the hour coming up in a few minutes. Uh, we'll play in a little bit. But John's doing this Christmas show December 16th at the Beacon, and the Christmas album comes out October 27th. So you got a lot to promote. That's a good thing because yeah. that means you, things are happening. Things are happening. You feel happy? Yeah. No, I, we work real hard on the Christmas record, and um, I'm happy. Uh, Cowboys and Plowboys is out. We're I guess I on... meant life. Huh? Like in life. I guess I meant life. In general. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm healthy. That's a, that's something to celebrate. Yeah. And, uh, I'm super happy. Okay. Make Presley's sure. happy. Good. That's what I'm talking about. Like your life has changed a lot in the last two years. Yeah. No, it's, it's, uh, everything's really good. I like that. And you still have the old Bronco? Still got the old Bronco. Still, still got the California Bronco and, that's just what year is that Bronco like 78 or something? 78. Is that the first year of the newer body style? They only made that 
I can't talk. They only made that Bronco two years. It was okay. 78 and 79. It's the big, the big Bronco. Yeah, I, so I have a 77. It was the last year of that old body style, mm. and we love it, but it's just like it doesn't drive as comfortable as like new cars. Yeah. So I'm probably going to sell it. You want it? I'm good. Okay, Those cool. are a little small. Just making sure. Those are a little small. What do you mean small? Mine's pretty big. Ours, mine's jacked up, too. You'll, you'll be able to sell that. Well, yeah, I know, but I was going to sell it to you for double maybe, since you're rich. It, yeah. I mean, maybe not say that it doesn't drive well. Oh. No, 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 it doesn't drive well <laughs> Com- compared to <laughs> new stuff. That's you know? a good point, though. Don't leave no, with that. Should, no, it just like, no, I drive like brand new. I just need a beer. Yeah, beer. brand new in 1977. That's the point. <laughs> uh, so let me ask a question, John, since we were talking about this on the show. Um, did you, and if you did, would you recommend watching the birth of your child? Yes. To both? Yes. I watched the whole thing. Oof. But uh, natural or C-section? Natural. Oof. Summer pushed out Presley like 45 to an hour. It was pretty. Oh, not bad. Like once you get used to it, it's not a big deal. Mm, I hear you. But and, it's... and you know, Summer appreciated it. Mm-hmm. I think so. You know, I held her hand the whole time. I was playing music. So it was Santa a little... needs a beer for Christmas. <laughs> I'm <leaving> beer <laughs> like, like playing music on a, like a, Bluetooth. Like your, yeah, okay, okay. but not you. <laughs> <laughs> I would be like, oh He's my rocking gosh. head over boots right next yeah. to her. She's having a baby. <laughs> she, she simply did I, whatever she wanted. I was right there mm. holding her hand. What is that? Like got a little blood on my boots? Yeah. I, oh, Amy. Sorry. Amy. No way. I, I'll cut little, No little way. Santa. Wow. Oh, geez. It was, it came to my head. It was a magical moment. Mm-hmm. And I used to think almost like you, Bobby, like where I was like, I don't know, man. That's how I feel now. My wife's not pregnant, but we're now talking about having kids. Yeah. And so it's, I just made the, the thing I, I don't want to watch. I'll put a curtain, like a full seven foot curtain and stand <laughs> on one side. But then we start talking about it on the show where I think Lunchbox, he likes to watch other people's on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that's like, weird. that's a weird thing. Yeah. I, I could see that. Yeah. For him? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought I meant for you. I can send you a link. No, uh, no, no I'm links. Good. You don't want any I'm links. Good. Okay. But uh, it, it is, it's a special moment and you're right. I was right there for summer because she's, you know, you know, she's pushing it out and. It was, you know, once you see it come out and you, I cut the cord and... Was, you cut the cord too? Yeah. Were you scared that you may cut it wrong? No, I cut or that. Or cut tw- it too high? Even the nurse was like, damn, you cut it good. Did huh? you measure twice? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just... You just went, went right at it. Right in there. But then do they have to cut it even more, even shorter though after you're done since you, you don't want to get too close? Yeah, I let them do their thing. Yeah, okay. But it, Were you scared ever? Scared? Oh, yeah. Like like the baby's purple and you're like, oh my God. I did We we had a... a we had a... a Awesome birth. There was no complications, and very thankful for that. Mm. There, that's the scariest thing. Is like when you get to the day, everything. There's so many things that could happen, and it went perfect. So I, I was very thankful for that, and I was glad I saw it. And I highly suggest if once you're in the hospital, if you guys, you know, do the thing, you'll get used to it, and you might, you might change your mind. Mm-hmm. Just think of me. I will. <laughs> Playing music. I don't want to do that. Uh, okay. Quick. Play mu- the play- hey, the, the Bluetooth speaker is clutch If during birth. It's awesome. You can play whatever you want. You, you know, it just puts music in there. Like, room. what kind of things were you putting on for her? Well, New I Christmas put on record, George Strait, yeah. put on a little heartache on the dance floor. I was like, that's me. That's me, baby. <laughs> and, you know, threw in a little lo-fi, mm-hmm. some chill, and then maybe some raps, you know, just kind of yeah. whatever... Whatever you feel like at the moment, it's an intense moment. And then Summer didn't want to hear country anymore. And just, so I played her like the lo fi she likes, where it's just kind of chill, no mm. no lyrics or anything. And then maybe some dinner jazz. I don't know. <laughs> try to, try to yeah. smooth it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, I don't know. I left. I don't know. <laughs> no, I was there. I know. Uh, okay, look, everybody, at John Party, a uh, couple things. One, tickets. Are you, can you get tickets to the Beacon Show? Are they already on sale? Already sold out? It's half sold out. So Okay. Go to the show. That's why I want to talk about it here. Uh, you can go to John's socials and find the link. Go to the Beacon Show, December 16th in New York City. A lot of listeners up there. You guys go watch that. Secondly, the album. The Christmas album comes out October 27th. And the new song, Cowboys and Plowboys, which we'll play again coming up in a little bit. And by the way, I'm super proud for you. October 24th is your Opry induction. That is Thank you. really amazing. Yeah, I'm excited for that. That's really amazing. Like, all seriousness, like, I'm super proud of you for that. Thank you. And that is, that's cool. John Party, there he is. Good to see you guys. And let's clap him out of here. There he goes. Yeah. John Party, everybody. Always a good time. Thank you, guys. <laughs> it's, it's about-